Well, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. So Scar here, bringing you another creative fun time episode with Scar as we continue to build this amazing modern house. So let's get inside that house and create our first bedroom. All right, welcome back as we start another episode and we have completed quite a bit on the house now. We're going to finally get into some of the details of the house, of course, and we will start with a bedroom on the upper level here. So let's head on upstairs. And I know some of you guys in the last episode were, were a little, still a little concerned about all the courts. Like I said before, it's just a temporary block, something that we can carve and paint and make all the little necessary details all around the house. So we just kind of start with this blank canvas of quartz and we start to build from there. So here is kind of the master bedroom of the house. I haven't quite decided which one will be kind of the main bedroom, but this is a good sized room. So in here, of course, we're gonna have our bathroom and out here will be a bedroom. So first things first, I'm going to remove this wall because this wall is bugging me slightly. It's a little bit too close to that window. So I am going to bump it back a little bit here. So that is our first order of business today. So we're just going to chop that off just a little bit like there. And let's see, do we like that? Um, I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll see what we got. We'll see how we go, but I, I kind of like that a little bit. All right, so next thing we're going to do is make some little columns to go up along here and on this side and one along there. There we go. So we're just trying to kind of fill in this room. So what we'll do is we'll have a bed right here, maybe even like a little desk on this side. We'll build some windows in here. So we're just getting these columns built up on the sides at the moment. There we go. And let's see. You know what we can do also is we can remove this layer of quartz that's up here so we can have maybe a little bit more of an intricate ceiling above here so that would be pretty nice so let's just remove that layer from up there there we go so just kind of going along here thinking what we can do to make this room a little bit nicer so we could jump up there get that in there Good, good, good. I'm liking it so far. I'm liking it so far. So let's see. For the flooring, I think we're going to do a nice hardwood floor down here. So we'll just remove that and start to add this along here. And I always like to add a wood floor. I'm always partial to the wood floor. I think I am in real life also when I think about design is my dad's always a fan of hardwood floors because his dad was a hardwood floor layer and you know he used to lay hardwood floors. So I, always, I think it runs in the family that we all enjoy hardwood floors. For the lighting of the room, I have kind of a little nifty idea I think will work. I did something similar in the modern Adobe style house tour we did, but I didn't actually put the glowstone in the bed. So I've got kind of a nifty little trick I want to do with some glowstone inside of a bed. Because this house is really kind of a show, kind of a design showcase instead of, you know, a functional survival house for our particular needs that we're doing here. But if you're following along in a survival setting, of course, you can replace different things as you see fit. Because most of the stuff in here is kind of little design ideas and things of that nature. Okay, so we're at this point now, and I think we're going to build our bed. So then we can get a good starting point for any other decorations around the room. So first thing, we're gonna get some cyan carpet. We are going to get some snow. There we go. And let's see, I'm gonna get rid of that for now because I also need a wool block. Where's the wool block? There it is, okay. So we're going to, let's see, we're gonna start right here. We're gonna go three blocks and then we're gonna go another three. There we go. There we go, perfect, perfect, perfect. And then we're going to take our snow and we're gonna rise the snow up there. So raise it up just about to there. And we're going to lay a blanket across the bed like so. Perfect, perfect so far, perfect so far. Now we are going to take some chocolate wood and run that along there. And we're going to bump that up like so. And we can adjust the pillow height, like that's a little bit big. So we're just back that up just a little bit. So we'll just play with that. Maybe that even maybe that's just a little too big. So we'll just 
do one click. So something like that. See how it just rises that up just a little bit to make it look nice. There we go. Put that like so. And we'll do the same on that side. There we go. Got a nice headboard over there. And then, of course, we'll just take that along there as a footboard. And voila, look at that. We're already getting a pretty cool little room built so far. So we do need to add some more color to the room. But for the glowstone, we're just going to remove this layer like so. And we're going to grab out our glowstone. Where did our glowstone go? It's escaped us. There it is. Alrighty, so so then we'll just place our glowstone in there like so, and cover that up. And look at that. Oh, 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 oh. We can we can just get rid of that. I don't think we really need that other section of it anyway. There we go. And I think I replaced that with. I think I replaced that with the quartz blocks. Oh uh, my bad. All right, there we go. Perfect. And now we have some light. And I just realized that's probably going to melt my snow. So I'm just going to put that back up there. But I think it actually should be good. No, we'll just remove this block here. There we go. Because I, I was going a little overkill with the glowstone there. We only really need one piece. There we go. That should keep an adequate light for the room. Very nice. So now we'll take out our... Well, oh, no, 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 Scar. Mistakes are made. Let's see here want to do something along here, but, hmm, question is, hmm, I'm wondering if I actually want to remove now because that's an integral part of the outside design. Ah, I think I know what I'm going to do. So hang tight here. We're going to add another layer of cyan clay here. So we're going to run this along here. There we go. So let's run that along there. And then we'll take out our chocolate wood and create a nice ceiling above here. So it kind of cuts out our quartz up here. I think that will look pretty nice. So we'll just fill this in like so. And then we'll kind of a nice ceiling because I'm not the hugest fan of the bottom side of the quartz blocks. As you can see, it's kind of a messy pattern that kind of has a repeating dot all along there. So it's not the most attractive blocks ever. So. We'll just fill that in, and then we'll just run this along here. So we'll just run that along there. No, 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 we're missing blocks. Missing blocks. Someday Scar will learn how to place blocks properly. Someday. Someday. There we go. Um, still not a huge fan of this entrance here. Let's just back this off a little bit. And let's see. Let's see. Kind of bring this up to there, like so. And then I'll drop it down one more block like so. Fill in the chocolate up there. And yeah, I like that. That's looks really nice, I think. What do you guys think? I think that looks like a really cool entrance to a kind of a compact bathroom. So I'm thinking for the bathroom, maybe uh, maybe do a sink here. Maybe get uh, like a toilet or... Yeah, probably maybe a toilet here or mm, something like that. And then one could do like a shower tub combo on the back there. I think that would look very nice. All right, so let's just build some little shelves maybe over here. Looks like a little bit plain right here. So let's just put in some shelves along there. I think that looks nice. And for over here, let's do kind of a big window, maybe a three window along here. And then symmetrical, of course, along here like so. And let's see, I like that, I like that a lot. So let's grab out some panes, get rid of our snow. Fill that in like so. Let's jazz up the top here a little bit so it continues the same theme throughout the house, kind of this top section like so. Very nice, very nice. I like that quite a bit. So let's see, what else can we do? Actually, we probably should fly out here. Oh no, it actually looks quite nice from the outside. Oh, all right. Um, let's see. What about if we do this like that? Is that? How much does that change the outside? Oh, it keeps it the same. Okay, it, just a slight difference, but I'm good with that. So I like the inside like this a little bit better. So we'll just remove each one of those blocks. There we go. Just adds a little extra detail to it. And whenever you can find somewhere in your house to add a little extra something and not take away from another area, that is what I call a win-win. Hmm. So I also came up with an idea is maybe this room, this guy who maybe lives in here or something, he likes, he likes skeletons. We're going to put some skeleton heads down and around here. He likes to collect little heads. Maybe he goes on adventures or something to 
areas of the world and brings back little artifacts. So let's just drop that right there. If so, and maybe he you know he's got like a little skull over here like that. And I don't know, maybe he's got a portrait. Maybe he's got a portrait of that blue skull up here. So let's see if we, oh, oh, I like that. All the colors go well. Let's, let's go with that. I like that a lot. And let's just finish this here. I was going to go with the blue skull, but I, I like that. I like that quite a bit. Here we go. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll, we'll probably delete that. Um, let's see. Let's get out our pot. There we go. Oh, I wish we had some more decorational items like these skulls. I wish we could actually get these in Scarlet. Wouldn't that be amazing? Actually, we can get the Wither Skeleton head, but it's very difficult. And I, but wouldn't it be awesome if we had some more decorational items throughout the world? I'd really like that. Um, let's get rid of that. And we'll get rid of that. And let's just put a pot maybe right, right there or on the outside. Let's see. Yeah, let's put that right there. And let's put an additional one right on that side and one on here. It kind of adds a little bit of extra color to the room, a little bit of green. I like that. I like that quite a bit. So give me one second as I kind of look through the room a little bit, find any more improvements, and I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. So what I did over here was this wall was kind of built up here like so. So I just started to kind of carve away at the quartz to kind of open this area up. Now we can't go any farther there. We'll just start to add some of these pillars along here and kind of open up the walls for more color. And here we go, here is our room. I think we did a pretty good job today on this build. We have kind of a windowsill built up here. I think that looks pretty nice. Nice three wide window, very beautiful. And this guy who lives in here, he likes skeletons. So you know, he's got some skeleton heads and some portraits on the walls and some little pots to add a little extra color to the room. Now over here I made one modification and that is I moved the glowstone one block over instead of at the center because it was melting our snow. So it's just built one block over from where it was. So before you know I had it all the way across here, it was melting it and I just added an extra stair to cover that up. So yeah, I think this all came out pretty nice. We have the little uh, shelving up here for an additional skeleton heads and a little portrait on this side. And when we get to our bathrooms, we'll pop on in here and finish up the bathroom with sinks and toilets and showers and finish up some of our pillars and detail up in that area there. And I really like the entrance to it right here, how it's kind of built kind of on the side as you kind of angle in instead of just a flat wall. I think that came out really nice. And well, guys, this has been Good Times with Scar. And I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you believe the video deserved a rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I always try to stress this, that planning and laying out is very important in your designing. So when we're looking at this, we can kind of see that our whole house and its white walls of possibilities are all ready for us in here. So we have this white canvas.